Okay, so uh, here we are again, it's 2010, and uh, we're back at Coulee Embro for another go at uh, pushing the end and hopefully diving a sump through that would leak to um, Shitu. So the trip's going really well so far, uh, it's Wednesday and we put our first team in today to go pushing, so we're all sat around camp waiting to see what they come back with. Hopefully we get Jason in the water and uh, he gets to uh, find some new passage. Uh, we spent a few days getting gear up to Sump 4, we managed to stash about 180 metres worth of rope up there, uh, drill, a couple of batteries, through bolts, hangers and all the exploration stuff. So the team that's gone in to explore today has picked up that gear, taken it to the end and uh, hopefully do the business. So, I uh, went for the second pushing trip yesterday. Uh, myself, Mike and Beardy went up to the end and they gave me a hand with my gear so that I could get in the sump that Jason discovered the previous day. Uh, surfaced in a big sump pool. I uh, thought this looks pretty good. Uh, looked kind of familiar. And I uh, swam over to one side and sure enough, up on the wall were the letters OUCC 1979-81. to So, we made the connection to Zichu. Uh, 16 hours long, so a bit tired by the end. Um, started off when we got beyond Sump 4, we went through to Z2, which was really something special, especially um, coming into the end and seeing the OUCC um, mark on the wall, really quite 
something um, and then spent a good few hours bolting in the freezing cold with our pack of mats on um, and surveyed what we found which was about 180 metres and then the long dive out so yeah about 16 hours. So myself and Adrian went into the end of the cave yesterday to the final pushing trip. Um, managed to take my video camera in, I was quite pleased about. It's pretty small and therefore it's quite practical to try and take it to the end uh, and actually try and get some footage of us exploring and uh, pushing the cave. One of the worst obstacles on the trip to the end of the cave is, is probably Razor Rift. It's, it's a short section of passage between two and three um, but it's a real arse taking diving kit through there. Further into the cave, beyond some three, there's a couple of ladders. Um, in themselves, quite easy. The problem is hauling up um, probably about 12 kilos of diving kit each. Makes it quite a strenuous affair. W one of the uh, main objectives of this was to try and prove that there's a, uh, a hydrological link between the end of the cave and, and a sump closer in to the surface. Um, that was to avoid people diving deep there and taking all the extra diving kit. So what we've done is put some harmless dye in there and we'll look at the detectors when the team go into D-Rig tomorrow. Uh, we've got a lot of detectors in the cave and various sumps. Um, so the plan was get the dye in the streamway, sump 4, and uh, we wanted to see if it would come out in the active route which you meet when you come out of sump 1. Uh, this is the route which Jason and Rick were diving last year, and it would be nice to know that the water at the end of the cave is the same water there. Uh, the, end, the end of the cave is, is, is nothing like the, the preamble up to uh, sump 4. Um, you uh, surface in a sump pool with a roaring uh, coming from around the corner. Um, it's, it's a massive river cave, I've never been in anything like it before. Um, lots of cascades, some sort of prosecuting up to maybe 20 to 30 metre pitches, um, traversing around waterfalls, really impressive streamway and just clear sort of bluey water coming through. Uh, it's a pretty major river cave at this point. Uh, there's a lot of prosking out of the water, a lot of climbing cascades, a lot of waterfalls, a lot of fast flowing rivers. Uh, it's pretty impressive stuff, really quite awesome. Uh, you know, quite exciting caving really. I managed to actually get the video camera out at the very end. Uh, it was quite hard to light the sort of the terminal point of the cave, uh, but basically it's a big rift. Uh, there's a lot of water coming out of a, of a big rift. Um, high up in the roof, you can see a small hole the water coming out of. Whether it's humanly passable with the flow, amount of flow coming out, you just can't tell without getting up there. Um, we, you know, we could have got up there with some proper bolt climbing, uh, but really time start, started to run out. Um, we were a long way from home and it was going to take quite a while to survey and get out from there, so at that point we sacked it off. Our trip turned out to be about 18 hours in the end, so we're probably probably quite pleased that we uh, we turned around about then. Uh, we were diving a sort of, you know, diving out of sun for about midnight, so uh, that's a pretty long trip really. Yeah. A good experience. Steering the cave and we pulled out many bags. So anyway, so yesterday was a really good day. 